QR codes, they're harmless, right? Wrong. This little square can ruin your life. So how can I fit an entire game inside one of these? Well, it turns out that QR codes are just a storage medium with a capacity of a whopping 2,900 bytes. Just to put that in context, the smallest app on the Google Play Store is over 3,000 bytes, and it doesn't do anything. So I guess we'll just have to create a game that's really lightweight, unlike your mom. Then I came up with the most original idea for a game. A game so unique, I bet you've never heard of it. So I did some googling and found some code for a bird game. Our bird game. After coding this game myself, which I did, I think it works like a charm. Almost. Then I fixed some code, changed some colors and... Well, it's still broken, but at least it looks better. <laughs> oh, and also, I added a crazy twist to the game, but before that, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. And now for the best part of the game. When the player dies, they'll be redirected to a very specific URL that you may recognize. Anyway, it's time to put the game inside a QR code, and to do that, we need to make sure it's under 2.9 kilobytes. But that's when I found minification, which basically takes all your code and compresses it down to a single line removing all useless characters. And now that the code for our game is under the QR code capacity limit, we can finally generate a QR code for this game. And now you might think that would look something like this, but it's actually a little more like this. That is one massive QR code. Almost as massive as your m So now when you scan this QR code, Flappy Bird starts, you know, flapping. And in true QR code fashion, when you die, this happens. Thanks for watching, subscribe, bye.